A healthy partnership between patients and their providers is key to a healthy lifestyle and disease treatment and prevention. ABC 7 medical contributor Dr. Neha Sharma, the medical director for the hospitals of Providence Northeast and Horizon City, is here to talk about this. Dr. Sharma, what does a patient partnership entail? I believe that patients need to be equal partners when it comes to their health. Most patients, unfortunately, are not in this position. They do not know which medications they take, what they're taking it for, or the details of their chronic illnesses. And I think both patients and, finish, and, and physicians need to work on bridging this gap. So how can patients effectively execute this partnership? Patients should know which medications they are taking and why. For example, if they are taking a blood thinner, they should ask their providers why they're on it and inquire about possible side effects and interactions with the other medications that they're taking. Or which blood pressure medications are they taking? Are they working? Patients should never hesitate to ask questions. If they have chronic illnesses, they should try to obtain some key details about their health when they see their providers. For example, if they have congestive heart failure, what is their ejection fraction, which is a percentage of blood leaving your heart each time it contracts? It's very important measure. If they have chronic kidney disease, what is their baseline kidney function? And I think healthcare providers should also do a better job in educating the patients. They should spend more time with them. It should be an open dialogue at all times. And speaking of time, doctor, let me comment and just say that sometimes doctors need to devote more time to their patients. Completely agree, correct. Now, any other tips you have for patients? Sometimes I do see patients who come into to the hospitals that I work in and they bring in, you know, a piece of paper with all their medication and health history or sometimes it's in their smartphone. And I really like that. I think it's very helpful and useful and I encourage that to all patients. Now, what about compliance issues when it comes to medications and appointments? We see that all the time. Patients should try to be compliant with their medications and appointments. If they're not compliant, however, they should be honest with their healthcare providers. And the healthcare providers should also try to understand the underlying reasons behind the non-compliance. Sometimes it's more than the patient is just not compliant. Is it financial? Is it insurance issues? We should also try to formulate alternate plans that work best for the patients. And patients should also be honest about their alcohol, tobacco, and drug use. Communication is a key component of this partnership from both physicians and patients. ABC 7 medical contributor, Dr. Neha Sharma, thanks for coming on this afternoon. Thank you.